Today is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sunny day. It's like spring's here and all of a sudden after a long winter you're dreaming of the beach and walks and just being outside in the sunshine. But speaking of what's ahead and what's coming and the beach, um, you should pick up the latest edition of In Weekly because there's this great article in there called Plan B. And it's basically about um, some proposed changes down there on the beach, um, Pensacola Beach. Apparently, there's been some um, major traffic issues um, down by uh, where um, Via De Luna and Fort Pickens Road kind of intersect. And everybody who lives here in Pensacola, you drive through there during the height of the summer, you know what I'm talking about. So apparently beach officials have been looking at this for the past three years and they've been trying to see what they could do to fix it. They've had traffic, um, traffic experts, urban planners, um, uh, or engineer type people, you know, all kinds of these type of experts got together and have been looking at different ideas. So basically what they've come up with, it's three years later, and what they've come up with is two plans. There's plan A and plan B. Both plans um, would revamp a lot down there at Pensacola Beach to make it a more pedestrian friendly environment. And I think the term used by the article is a kind of an urbanism um, that they're looking at, like which means more focus on foot traffic, pedestrians walking, trying to make it more of that kind of a pedestrian friendly experience. I personally don't think that there's too much of a problem down there at Pensacola Beach right now and that's what um, one of the people's points was. Um, one of the, I think it was a resident that went to a meeting that says in the article said, you know, why are we making such a big deal over an occasional problem? Which for us Pensacola residents, um, it is an occasional problem. I mean, it's there in the summer and the height of congestion with tourists and it's not like an all year long thing. You can drive to the beach right now and there's really not much of a big deal. And even during the summertime, I don't think it's as bad as um, it could be or some places are. I think it's actually a pretty good setup. But uh, beach officials, everybody, they're looking to the future. And I guess that's what they were told. Um, the planners for these two new projects, these two new ideas were told, um, think big, you know, look at this for the future, look at um, basic future growth. Um, so, more to the point of the thing is plan A and plan B, I guess plan B is what um, the officials are leading towards and it's causing a lot of controversy because one of the main factors is funding, $25 million to do this. And what it would do, plan B would basically um, raise the roadway so that uh, cars would be going over top of the pedestrians and allowing for the pedestrians to just kind of come and go um, you know all about the beach you know without having to sort of walk across traffic um, that would be 25 million dollars and there's kind of all kinds of other little things that would be involved in that plan but then plan A was where they would basically take a pedestrian walkover from um, the boardwalk over to Casino Beach and pedestrians were basically walking over top of traffic. So plan A, pedestrians walk over traffic, big pedestrian walk over. Plan B, the cars would be going over top of the pedestrians. Plan B, plan A is not really relevant at this point because beach officials, the Santa uh, Rosa Island Authority has already decided to go with plan B. And um, the biggest controversy um, most people are referring to is the funding there is talks that in order to raise funding for that, they would raise the toll. So right now we pay a dollar to go over there. And with this plan, it would be raised to two, maybe it said in the article said three or maybe even more. And I think that would be one of the biggest issues because for us residents here in Pensacola, we don't want to have to pay two and three dollars just, you know, we want to go take a walk on the beach before work or after work or go out there on a Saturday you know, for an occasional problem, there's going to be all of this um, this money, and are we going to be the ones that have to pay it as opposed to the tourists? So 
Um, that's a question as far as with these projects, you know, I wonder if there's a way that they could say, hey, look, if you're a Pensacola resident, you get some kind of special pass or break on the tolls. And tourists, I don't think, would really mind paying the toll because you save up to go on vacation and you're like, oh, hey, yeah, what's, an, what's an extra three bucks, whatever, you know, and you go across. But for us Pensacola residents, if they do do this, I think it would be a great idea if they had a special pass or something where we weren't sort of absorbing the brunt of this cost. So basically, you have the points of view. People are saying, you know, they're for it, they're against it. The people who are for it are like, we know look to the future here. The people who are against it are like, you know, why pay this much money for an occasional problem um, and all that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, another viewpoint um, was from another county commissioner who said, you know, look, we're paying too much attention to Pensacola Beach. Like, there's so many other waterways here in the area. Um, his name's Gene Valentino, he said, um, basically, it's about the entirety of our waterfront issues. We need to make sure that all of our waterfront interests are addressed with a sense of fairness and balance. So there's people for it, there's people against it, and then, you know, this guy's like, look, why are we even making such a fuss over Pensacola Beach? There's so many other waterways around here that really could use some attention. Either way, whatever happens with this plan, looking forward to the summer here in Pensacola. We've already got a taste of the upcoming months um, with this beautiful weather we're having. It's, and their official decision about this is going to be made on March 15th during the commissioner's regular meeting. So this is coming up. Um, it's a great time to get out there and get involved. And uh, it's interesting that it's going to be made on the 15th. The Ides of March. Beware the Ides of March. Anyway. Yeah, so hoping to see you soon down at the beach either way, and uh, have a happy day.